Hello, my lovelies. It's me, Simple Sims, also known as Lexi, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations Part 6. Alrighty. So, we basically need to immediately, like, rush over to their wedding venue. So, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need Devin to get his butt up, like, right now. Why is he not standing up? Why are they not getting up? Get up. There we go. Oh my gosh, this you This mascot, I swear to God. Isn't this so romantic, them just, like, taking a taxi on their way to their wedding? Because they can't even afford a car? Yeah, call a babysitter. So I think, actually, also, oh no, his birthday's tomorrow, just kidding, I thought today was going to be like an extra big day for us, but, uh, just kidding, not really. So this is the wedding venue that I made, um, it's very simple, um, I put like a little pond, thought it just made it look better. Um, on the inside, it is completely full of a set from The Sims 3 store. Um, I think it's called, like, the Roman Romanza something like that set. So. Um, okay, so we're just going to put the wedding cake down here. Uh, have Devin. I always like to have them kind of slow dance together. Even though technically, if we're being real, like in a wheel, a wheel wedding, in a wheel wedding, in a real, a real wedding, oh my gosh, tongue twister, the first dance, as we all know, would come after they get married, but after they get married in The Sims, it's like so much chaos going on. Um, I kind of just have them do it beforehand so that, you know, all the guests can show up and whatnot. So... Oh, how cute. Even though it's a little backwards. Because his hand should be down here. But, you know, get it how you live. Get it how you live. Now that I look at it, this venue is, like, so, like, spring. And it is totally the fall. Who has the nerve to get sick on our wedding day? Is it her? No. No. Oh, he's already doing it. Well, isn't he a good doctor? He's wasting wedding time, but I mean, I guess he's technically a good doctor. Okay, hurry up though. Oh, hurry up. Then get married. Whoops. Crap. I hope he finishes. Okay. I think he finished. Are you done? Devin. Okay, there you go. So now he's gonna go ask Angie if she wants to marry him. Like, hey girl, there's a wedding arch right there. You wanna, uh, maybe stand under it real quick and, uh, exchange vows and whatnot? Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's kind of what I imagine just happened. Don't mind me just, like, completely inventing their... Why? Why did it stop? Go! Dude, now they gotta do it again. Oh my gosh. This just makes you wanna kill your sins. This just makes you wanna kill them. There they go. Okay. Come on. Come on. These lights in the freaking way. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. Oh my, you know what? We're just gonna flip around. We're just gonna flip around. That way we can see ah. everything happening. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, are you serious? Really? I guess we're not watching from tab mode. Freaking tree in the way. Did 
Jeez. It was so loud. I'm sorry, guys. That was probably, like, even louder for you. Because it was loud for me. Okay. Now, everyone go over here. Cut your wedding cake. Does anyone have the want to do that? Oh, they're on a date. Okay, cool. She has to give a presentation. <laughs> Turn it off. Cute. I wonder if they can actually eat at these tables with these, like, bouquets on them. Hopefully they can, because they're freaking starving. Cut the cake. Cut the cake. Oh, Devin is so cute. And there we have it, folks. I'll grab you some cake before all your guests attack it. Oh, and they're actually eating together. Oh, we love to see it. We love it. Okay, so after Angie eats, she's gonna have to pee. Uh, baby girl has been born to Holly and Parker. They already have like five kids together. Jane is a fine name. Fine by me. Okay, so go pee. I love how they just like leave the plates on the ground. But since it's a community lot, they'll just like magically disappear. I wish that could kind of happen at uh, our house. That would be awesome. I wonder if he ends the date now, would it be considered a good date? Yes, it was. Awesome. I figured because like they kind of got married to like... Awesome. So uh, we're actually going to have her go give her presentation. Because we kind of accomplished everything that we wanted to. And then we're going to have Devin kind of just go home so that he can... Why are you slow dancing with her? No! Devin, you just got married! Devin. Devin. Sims do not listen. And they don't move fast enough for me. They really don't. Okay. Anywho. The baby's dying, so clearly the babysitter is not taking very good care of him, which is wonderful. And also, I will have to use... Oh. What? I guess they haven't gotten their time off yet. Oh, there it goes. So they have some time off from work, which I don't really know. A baby boy has been born to Blair in Cyclone Sword. Gabriel, that's a fine name. Did the babysitter just get here or just walk in the house as soon as we... Oh, I hate that you still have to pay them anyway. Like, you didn't do anything. My kid could have been taken away because you neglected him. So go give him all the snuggles. So now they have time off from work. Um, I mean, I, I guess that's good. Uh, but they only have $63. So it's like, you can't really... Oh, man. This is going to be rough. Or, you know what? I think they get paid, don't they? Okay, well, anywho. It's only like two days, so... That's fine. That's fine. Um, $75 is entirely too much money for a babysitter. Uh, that literally stands outside of your house the whole time. But, you know, uh, maybe we could go try to, like, collect some flowers or something to make some money while they aren't working. Um, like right here. There's two things right here that we could collect, but we're actually going to have... Angie do that so that we won't have to pay for another freaking babysitter oh I told you guys the baby wants are gonna start cranking in okay this is the moment of truth if Angie has the same want as him then they will try for a baby if Angie does not have this same want as him then they will just do a nice little risky woohoo let's see here yep they're trying for a baby i knew it i told you guys i told you 
as soon as soon as they got married i told you the baby wants we're gonna start cranking out and i was correct come on angela come on angela peralta i forgot her last name changed so the baby's last name changed yay yay we're all peraltas now and she's still in her wedding dress she is still in her wedding dress. No, don't go home. You might as well just go get those rocks right now. It's kind of cute that she's still in her wedding dress, though. In, like, a weird way. Oh, and look, there's flowers right here. Come collect these, too. Uh, her makeup looks crazy right there. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. This way we can make some moolah. And then we're gonna have her come home. We're actually gonna change her back into her formal wear one so that if she gets invited to like parties or anything, um, she'll wear this instead of her, you know, wedding dress because that is kind of weird. So let's go ahead and have them try for a baby since they both want to. Um, we're really gonna need some money now, guys. Oh, geez. Oh, $200 for- Ooh, $500. You see, guys? You see? Oh my god, this flower is $75. It's basically like we just remade the money that we spent on that awful babysitter. What a beautiful world. Yeah, you won next. Okay, so they're gonna go get Angie knocked up. Come on. Go. Go. There we go. We're going to be creepers here and watch. Or maybe we shouldn't. Devin, where are you? Devin! What are with her? Look, she called him back to the bed. She was like, uh-uh, where are you going? She said, we're on a mission. Don't mess this up for me, Devin. I love how they get charisma from woohooing. Because that's what skill she's totally building right now. Okay. So she should have her baby on Wednesday because I'm just going to assume that she's pregnant. Because, like, why wouldn't she be? Whoops. Nope, don't clean it. He's going to take a quick shower and then go to sleep. Uh... So at about 6 a.m., we should kind of know if she's pregnant or not for sure. Um, she should get the little nauseous thing. If she is pregnant, at least. But, like I said, come on, we pretty much know she is. Look at her. Thinking about blocks and stuff already. Okay, guys, so I'm going to skip to when they wake up. Okay, guys, so Angie's waking up. Um, In about, well less than an hour we should kind of know if she's pregnant for sure so we're definitely going to keep a watch out for that um she's going to clean the shower really quick and then take care of her baby and it is amir's birthday today so we're going to actually try to age him up pretty early in the day so that we can kind of spend the day like teaching him how to walk and talk and all of that so that he won't grow up to be an evil child um which we know will happen if you don't, like, teach your kid their skills. Oh, it's about to be 6 o'clock. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Actually. Let's, uh, do all this stuff. Give the bottle. Snuggle him. Play with him. Snuggle him again. Hmm. I don't see her getting the nauseous thing yet oh there it is she's pregnant she's pregnant i forgot they kind of woohooed a little bit after 10 o'clock um yeah guys she's pregnant i'm hoping this time for a girl even though i guess it won't matter if they have a boy because they'll want to have a third probably a fourth baby anyway um their lifetime wish is to have five children so they'll at least want five babies so we'll probably get a girl at some point so even if we have like four boys it won't really matter that much um okay so we're gonna put him back in his crib really quickly i'm gonna buy a wedding cake here 
a wedding cake. We're gonna buy a birthday cake for the baby. And this cake came from the Sims 3 store. Um, Devin can get up now. And now we can have Amir blow out his candles. And then that way they can kind of, uh, Devin and Angie can kind of eat the cake since they're both hungry. Um, Cause you know, what a healthy breakfast, eating cake. <laughs> Devin, come, I was about to say, you better come watch your baby age up. Okay. They take forever to age up in The Sims 3, The Sims 3 at least. The Sims 2 and 4, it's, you know, it's pretty decent. She's about to throw up. Okay, Amir is now a toddler. Can they eat the cake yet? There we go. No, no, there we go. <laughs> uh, baby girl has been born to River McIrish and Michael Bachelor. Caitlin, that's a good name. Devin, no. Eat the cake so that we can start getting rid of it. Devin, they don't listen. They do not listen, I'm telling you. Okay, so we're gonna kind of change his appearance and outfit really quickly. While they eat the cake. Up. Oh, Angie's not even eating it. OMG. Okay, so he looks like he kind of has a weird hair color. Uh, yeah, he does. It's like, it looks like dirty or something. Um, I don't know. I don't really like this hair color. Should we just make him like... This is what Angie's hair color is. That's why I have it saved. It's kind of like this, almost like a strawberry, like a pinky kind of blondish color. That's what we're gonna give him. And then we're gonna give him those eyebrows, make them like that. Mm, and turn his eyelashes down a little bit. For some reason, I don't like super, super long eyelashes on like the Sim 3 guys. I don't really know why but I don't. Um, girl, Angie, if she doesn't just figure it out, like she sees the cake is sitting right there in the seat next to her. She should just pick it up, eat it. Okay, so his every day is pretty fine. Formal wear on babies, you like never see it. Ever. Um, but I guess, there we go. Sleepwear. I mean, his sleepwear is fine. He's not going outside anytime soon, so we don't really care about that. Okay, and there is a mirror, and I am going to... No, I, I'm messing up. Okay, so Angie is throwing up because she's preggers. We can check the gender and stuff with like the pregnancy mod, but I'm not gonna do that. Look at that, she wants to teach him how to talk. Uh, he wants to attack him with the claw. Attacking toddlers with the claw did come with generations. Mm. So we'll kind of go ahead and have Devin. Oh my God, if I can click this baby. Attack him with the claw and start teaching him how to walk. Awesome, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this part here, guys, with uh, Devin teaching his son how to walk. Um, in the next part, we'll finish teaching Amir all of his skills, um, probably have a baby, because we'll have the baby on Wednesday night. So yeah, guys, look forward to that. Um, so if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to if you're into my stuff, you know, I'd really appreciate it um, And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay guys. Bye